Welcome everyone who chose group two. Your card of choice was Lucifer or the death card. So thank you for joining me in this space. If you haven't watched the trailer, I'll just quickly remind you that we are seated on Treaty 7 territory, the traditional lands of the Blackfoot Confederacy, the Sutina Nations, Yarhe, Nakoda, and Region 3 Métis Nation of Alberta. So let us enjoy this space here on the side of a sacred guardian sleeping buffalo mountain in Banff, Alberta, which is a national park. So group number two, we are here to discuss and discover really the wisdom from the witch hut and what you need to know from this session. So before we begin, a little housekeeping notes. I consider myself to be an R-rated reader. That means I could talk about graphic material, sexual material, uh, dark material, emotionally, for example. Uh, it's very likely that I will swear. So if any of those things are distasteful to you, this is your opportunity to uh, choose a different video. The second bit of housekeeping notes is that this is a general reading. It may not resonate for everyone. If you find that it's not resonating for you, hang out. Listen to someone else's narrative just to hear the hot gas spilling the tea. And also, just being in this environment. If it is resonating for you, definitely take it. Examine it. Explore it. But with that being said, group two, let's ask what the wisdom from the witch hut is for you. We have the Knight of Swords reversed. What else is the wisdom that group two needs to know? We have the Judgment card and the Ten of Pentacles. What else do we need to know? It's already getting so interesting. Three of Pentacles. One more card, please. Or two, sure. They always do that when I'm like, one more, and they're like, how about this many? Ooh, three. Queen of Wands, Temperance reversed, Five of Wands reversed, under the deck, Nine of Pentacles. We will pull some clarifier cards, but let's begin here. So, group number two. Uh, with Lucifer being your signifier card, it's definitely a time and position of transformation for yourself that could be physically for yourself or your physical world it could be about your career it could be about relationships romantic or otherwise but ending of something and a birth into something new a death and rebirth scenario under the deck we have the nine of pentacles so this group could be uh, all my Beyonce single ladies or any gender, this is just the song. Um, but these independent persons, certainly. So you may be quite capable of taking care of yourself and pay your bills, uh, you know, being able to work, maybe even have savings, take yourself on vacations be able to save up for things to purchase them you know you work hard but you can support yourself and you don't need to really feel like you have to rely on anyone to be able to be comfortable in life and yet we're in a position of change it doesn't seem at all like your planes uh, doesn't seem at all like your Independence is being threatened, though. I just want to make that clear. And also with the Seven of Pentacles underneath that, it seems more a time that you're stopping and reflecting on your world, on what you have, 
again, career materials, finances, job, etc. And just having to reevaluate, taking stock, and deciding what you want to keep investing your time into. Because you feel like things are shifting, and they are. We are right. We have the Knight of Swords reversed, which is very fascinating because that can be sometimes problematic energy. No, little spider. That way. Thank you. Keep going. Thank you. Off the blanket. Knight of Swords reversed to me, though, in this um, scenario. I mean, it could talk about being a bit overly impulsive or it could talk about being overly cautious, spending a lot of time stuck in one's head uh, reflecting on what to do. So when upright, this knight normally has a plan of action, is willing to go forward, is charging in and going, this is what I know we need to do. I have a plan and a strategy and I'm going to enact it. So twofold here could either be, I don't have a plan and I'm impulsively making decisions or, uh, I, I feel really caught up in trying to make a plan, uh, so much so that I paralyze myself from being able to move forward. And it's culminating in judgment, and that's ascension. Again, very similar to death with this transformation. You're being brought to a point for your life to change. And again, it doesn't necessarily mean that everything in front of you has to change, but that energetically, spiritually, mentally, something major for yourself, it will shift for the better. But it also means having to allow stuff to fall away or to pass on, shall we say. And this is all headed towards the Ten of Pentacles. What you really desire to manifest for your greater vision and life legacy, whatever that looks like for you, because everyone's different. With the Knight of Swords reverse, we had the Three of Pentacles accompany it, and that can talk about collaboration with others to build a vision. So I'm curious, we'll find out more with the clarifier cards, if this is uh, needing to have more communication with your team members or if it's romantic about what discussions you need to have so that you both move forward to continue on your way to your mutual vision of Ten of Pentacles. With the Judgment and Queen of Swords reversed, again, we have this either stuck in, basically stuck in one head one way or the other. Impulsivity or too quick to judge or harsh judgment or, you know, um, obsessively thinking and unable to move forward is part of the judgment. It is the thing that needs to be overcome. So how does one overcome that? I don't know. We all have different ways. Um, since it's swords that talks about the airy, the mental realm. So certainly I can suggest things like cognitive behavioral therapy that helps you try and logically recondition your perspectives and your thoughts and recognize when you're having hot thoughts and being able to practice changing them. So that may be a practice uh, to look into or to continue doing if you're already doing so or going to therapy or uh, journaling thoughts and doing negative statements and, and switching them into positive statements. There's lots of different ways and you're gonna have to find out the best way that works for you. But I do think uh, it's time for it. And participating in the change uh, will be, a, I think, a more pleasurable experience than resisting it. With the Queen of Wands, Temperance Reverse, and Five of Wands Reversed, it's interesting here. There's, I also need more clarity on this, but we have sort of, on one side, confident, empowered, uh, passionate, exciting, extroverted kind of energy. On the other hand, it's like, I don't want no drama, I don't know, want no conflict, I'm just avoiding everything. Um, 
and then temperance reversed is this imbalance so it kind of is is it a tension between extroversion and introversion is it uh, I mean Leos for example are a part of the fire energy of wands and they can be rather dramatic but that doesn't necessarily mean a bad thing a five of wands tends to be a lot of creative conflict or chaos for multiple people and that can also be seen as drama so it seems like this swaying pendulum of yes I like it or I can be passionate and exciting and then it's so terrible I want to avoid it at all costs let's get some clarity shall we I'm gonna pull all the cards first so I can get a bigger picture and then we can discuss. Listen, little ant, you need to not be over here. It's dangerous for you. Very dangerous for you. I don't want to squish you. Okay, so under the deck, can't go that way. We have the Three of Pentacles. And so that's a repeat of that card there. It's three of pentacles again collaborating with other individuals to build a vision is that with multiple people is it a polyamorous situation uh, or is it with colleagues is it on a creative project is it in a romantic sense only you are gonna know what uh, is appropriate to your scenario but it's the idea of working in collaborative unison with other individuals to bring an idea to fruition and to materialize it. So for clarity on your original Three of Pentacles, we have the Knight of Cups. And this can very much be about romantic offerings or emotional offerings and connection. So again, I come back to this thought of um, maybe there's fear around con com conversing with someone that you have emotional relations or feelings with about choices and decisions to be able to move forward towards a Ten of Pentacles vision together. With the Queen of Swords reversed, we have the Five of Cups and that's depression. So the judgment and the Queen of Swords, those, those weighing down thoughts, the heavy beliefs, the probably there's like self-shame and judgment etc all tied up in there are very much attached with depression now I also want to say that there's nothing wrong okay to admit to say that I'm experiencing depression right it's not a forever life sentenced kind of thing lots of people all over the globe experience it and acknowledging it is the first step to being able to work on our mental health. So the death and the judgment, the sense of transformation is about working actively on your mental health and being supported by your partner or your crew or your family or whomever, the other people. That is about going forward to a greater vision of your life legacy, your future. So again, if you need to utilize and that you can and you can have access to professional resources, I definitely recommend it. And there's resources online. Um, I always encourage people to open up to that and to explore it and give it a chance. The Queen of Wands, Temperance, and Five of Wands. We have the Nine of Wands, the Devil Reversed, and the Queen of Wands Reversed, which is so fascinating. So... I feel like on the outside perhaps you may have this or maybe you're naturally a fire type element and you exude this energy and you have had probably a lot of issues in the past 
that you've healed from. I also feel like it's an external front a bit of the time because we have this opposition here of this Queen of Wands reversed, which can be the type of person who might get drunk on tequila and her boyfriend doesn't text her back and then she decides to take all of his clothes and light them on fire on the front lawn. Um, that's just one example. And also genders ignore those things. But it can be really aggressive. It can be passive aggressive. It can be cutting and slicing. Uh, it can be over domineering. And that five of wands reverse is I just don't want no conflict. So in the middle here, with temperance reversed and the unbalanced, we have the devil reversed, which is a really great thing because it's about releasing the ties that bind us, addictions or patterns or habits, etc., that no longer serve us. But I feel like, again, I come back to the pendulum, the swaying between, maybe it's up, 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 up. I might say more that it's the oscillation between trying to express as positive Queen of Wands versus having the shadow of the Queen of Wands or the reversal, where they're both part of your nature. Everyone has the dualistic expressions. And we are not capable of being fixed in just one state. That may be part of mental patterning that needs to be explored and addressed. Maybe you have thoughts of, well, I should only be upright Queen of Wands. And that can be considered all or nothing thinking, which is actually very Queen of Swords reversed. This is just an example. So part of the struggle with depression might be between your own self-image, your own uh, personal empowerment, courage, self-confidence and it oscillating and swinging back and forth uh, sometimes feeling really low and shitty about yourself and maybe acting that out onto other people uh, to having really high days that can be part of other types of um, medical conditions as well uh, I am NOT a medical professional so I don't want to address any of those but I certainly think what I get from this, what the witch hut wisdom says, is that you are in the time of transition to be able to ascend and graduate towards a greater goal of happiness for you, the vision of your future. You have people to support you, that love you, that will help you and work with you. Um, but it's really about addressing and exploring our mental landscape and emotional landscape that is tied in depression and thoughts so group number two that is your reading from the witch hut i encourage you to spend some time here now just sit reflect on what's been said i'll put away my cards and then we'll end your session thanks for joining me today